high fire signs Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross watching. Welcome to your tarot love messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see what is what are your person's true feelings and thoughts and intentions about you and about the connection that you share. What goes through their mind when they think about you, hear your name. There's also going to be a part two available to this reading, and part two is going to be accessible via this extension link below. So just where the video, the show more section is underneath the video. For those of you interested in a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will also be listing my email address just in that section there. Okay, guys, otherwise, let's go ahead. Let's take a look and let's see uh, what are your person's true thoughts, feelings and intentions. I want you to take a moment and focus on your person, your romantic energy here. Try and keep a vision or a visual of them in your mind's eye and let's see what the cards reveal to us. So we want to know their true thoughts, true feelings. bottom of the deck you have the hanged man here which uh, is the energy that crowns the overall reading and it feels like you're there's a bit of a stalemate a bit of a stagnation here with regards to this connection so I'm seeing that there are certain blockages that are hindering this connection okay emotional physical mental blockages interestingly enough you do have the chariot underneath the hangman here which tells us that whatever blockages you're experiencing in this connection with you and your person for example no contact no communication or if it's just a very stagnated energy you will be victorious okay it just feels like things are going to get better so if there's no communication there will be contact there will be communication if there are blockages those will be removed if there are obstacles those will be conquered okay so you're going to overcome whatever it is that's going on here so with regards to your person i don't see them as someone who's very emotionally ex expressive if anything i feel like this person may be holding back their feelings and is really withdrawn like really indrawn here in case someone who keeps to themselves i'm also seeing that they're not very good with processing their emotions so instead of instead of externalizing this person is internalizing their feelings here they do have feelings for you especially with the queen of cups there are romantic feelings that they feel for you however i don't think that this is someone who expresses that or maybe not in a way that you wish for those to be expressed Now, Five of Wands is the only card that's come up in reverse here for you, right? And this is, I guess it's good because this is, uh, this is an energy of harmony. It's an energy of peace. But it can also be an energy of someone purposely avoiding conflict. So your person could be someone who's um, avoiding emotional confrontation. I think there is something here that they want to share with you. I think there is something here that they want to open up. It could be the way, something about the way that they feel about you. It could be that maybe they feel like their feelings for you are not growing or flourishing in the way that they should. Um, and they feel like, you know, they may feel a bit of an uncertainty. But instead of opening up and talking to you about this, I feel like this person is purposely ignoring it and hoping that, you know, those feelings eventually will go away and they'll dissolve. I'm also seeing that they don't want to necessarily make waves or cause any dra drama or conflict in your connection here. Your person could also be trying to get away with something, okay, especially with the Five of Wands and the Two of Swords. So maybe, I think that they, you know, it, it feels like they're not working, okay, it feels like they may have done something or said something that they're not proud of, but I don't think it's something that you know about as well. And I think this is someone who is, 
I feel like they're trying to get away with it. Okay, they're not they're not working through whatever that they've done or said here, but I think they're trying to pretend like it, it didn't happen because they want to it's their way of keeping the, the the peace. It's their way of trying to avoid something here. Your person does care about you. I'm just seeing that there is some sort of I think it's just their natural way of dealing with things, like avoiding it. There's a lot of avoidance in the energy here. And I'm also seeing that because of this avoiding avoidance, it's led to things bre brewing up within them, within their energy, because they don't deal with it. Um, if this is someone who's not contacting and not, not, you know, not initiating any communication, it makes sense. Because I feel like there's something here that they want to tell you, but it just feels like they don't know how to. And this is why they've sort of withdrawn or retreated or resorted to silent treatment because it feels like they're trying to give themselves some time and some space to figure out how to say this or to figure out you know how to tell you what's really um how to open up and tell you what's really on their mind because it feels like it's a difficult conversation and it feels like it has something to do with their feelings or lack of feelings it has something to do with maybe another person involved it has something to do with them feeling maybe a, like the connection is a little bit one-sided uh maybe their needs are not being met i honestly i also feel like this person doesn't may not be entirely honest with you here there could also be some misunderstandings that the two of you have shared recently but this person is not wanting to clear it up so they're just thinking that it's going to disappear okay that you know whatever's happened here whatever misunderstandings have occurred that that's just going to disappear and it, it's not your person is someone who bottles up resentment and who bottles up emotions and who avoid conflicts they're sensing an imbalance here maybe they don't feel like you give them the time the attention and the energy that they need maybe that you feel like maybe they're feeling a little bit insecure because there could be someone else not that you're romantically involved with someone else but they feel like maybe there's someone else that you know has your attention here what do they want from out of this connection i think they want they want to be wanted they want to be needed they want to be loved by you and I'm not saying that, you know, you're at fault here, but I don't know that they're getting it. And I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that they have emotional blockages. A lot of, a lot of it has to do with the fact that, you know, they're not allowing themselves to really ex uh, explore the depths of this connection. They're not really allowing themselves, you know, that sense of vulnerability to open themselves up to you and, you know, talk about their emotions. I think that even though they want love... And even if they get love, I don't think they'll know what to do with it because this person is so, it just feels like they're so unfamiliar here. I'm seeing they're not taking any action right now with the hangman and the two of swords. There's this stagnated energy, okay? No contact, no communication, but not a lot of action. Uh, someone? It's like... If, I don't know, maybe it's the both of you that feel this way. It's like you're both kind of surrendering to fate, to the to the fates and what will be, okay? You might also be sort of just taking a break from one another, a breather, or you might just be sort of trying to let something go or let each other go. Something here is different from what they've expected. So maybe they, you know, this connection here is in their feelings for you. Maybe they haven't, maybe they've stagnated a little bit. And they, you know, by now they thought that they would have, have fallen in love with you. Or, you know, that the relationship would have elevated. But something is different from what they've expected here. And I think right now, even if they're not communicating right now, do not push, okay, because they're going to resist. Do not initiate conversation, communication. The more you push, the further away that they will pull from you. So maybe, you know, I think they're purposely trying to put things on hold because they're try trying to take time away from you and from this relationship, trying to figure out their emotions. They do care, but I think they really keep to themselves here, okay? I think there's a lot of things that they're not sharing with you here. I think this is someone who really plays their cards very close to their chest. I'm seeing a bit of an imbalance here. Maybe this person feels as though they're a little bit more invested in their emotions than you are. Maybe this person feels that they're, they're always the one who is initiating conversation, communication, always the one who's doing the work, and you're just sort of, you know, going with the flow. It Something feels a little bit one-sided, a little bit imbalanced. 
And I think this is troubling your person. I'm also seeing that they're being weighed down by an energy heat. But I don't think that they're... It could have something... It, it might not have anything to do with you. It could have something to do with their uh, career or something that's going on with their personal life. And maybe even, you know, them pulling away from you, them withdrawing might not have anything or not a whole lot to do with this relationship. But because they're not opening up, okay, and they're not telling you what's really going on, it's hard for you not to personalize this, right? All right, so in part two of the reading, we're just going to see, you know, exactly what will transpire. So will there be future contact? Will there be future communication? I believe so. But we'll see if we can get a time frame, when and how, or, you know, what might, what communication might they come in with? Some of these blockages, what exactly is blocking this person, apart from them being able not to come forward and, you know, express themselves emotionally, what else is, what is the root of this? And why do they feel that things are a little bit imbalanced? Why is it that they feel this way? Or is it ultimately just their perspective, the way that they see things? And, you know, there are romantic feelings involved, but are they strong enough? Are they strong enough? Yeah. So we'll go ahead and see all those... Uh, all that and more in part two of the reading so follow me to the extension link below for those of you interested in a personal reading feel free to reach out thank you guys so much for your time and your energy please show your support by liking sharing and subscribing to this channel bye for now